I love the research uh, from Richard Leader, who has a company called The Inventure Group. Richard talks to senior citizens on a regular basis, and he asks them one thing. Knowing what you know now, and by the way, the senior citizens were all successful business people. They had the external success factor. So he specifically talks to people who were successful in, in their careers. And he says, knowing what you know now, what would you do differently? And there are three answers that he gets over and over again. Number one, they wish they would have stopped and reflected more often. That life just passed them by, and when they got older, it really went fast. And you know what I mean, right? I mean, I can't believe it's already December 1st. Take time to reflect about what kind of legacy you want. Take time to reflect the gratitude and appreciation that you have going on. And a conference like this is a perfect place to do that. The second thing that senior citizens said they wish they would have done differently is taken more risks. Now, I thought this was an interesting answer because these are all successful business people, right? So they're risk takers. That's usually what makes you a successful business person. But it wasn't financial or business risks that they were talking about. What kind of risk do you think they were talking about? Relation, emotional risk. So it could mean relationship risk, taking a risk to get close to somebody. Be vulnerable. Share your feelings more often, your thoughts. They said they just didn't share how they felt, good or bad, often enough, and they regretted that. They also played it safe way too often. And if you want to build a dynamic culture, you've got to get out of the comfort zone. You've got to do things that are against the norm because that's really what works. Break all the rules. The Gallup organization and Marcus Buckingham wrote the book. We do have to break those rules. We have to get out of that comfort zone. So doing something that feels uncomfortable, getting out of your comfort zone, that could mean everything from bungee jumping to maybe moving or trying a new job leaving a newspaper and starting a culture coaching company. The last thing, the third thing that senior citizens said they wish they would have done differently is they wish they would have known sooner what truly brought them fulfillment. That it was too late in life that they really discovered what their true gifts and talents were, what their true passions were. Their message to us is do it now. Find out what your gifts and skills are. And in fact, there's a book called Strengths Finder 2.0. If you go buy that book, there's a research, uh, you, you'll get a research tool and take, you, you've done it, you've done the Strengths Finder. Through that research, you can actually find what your top five talents and skill sets are. And you can turn those into a strength by developing those. They wish they would have known that sooner. And they wish they would have had more passion in their life, that they didn't spend time on what they're passionate about. And the third thing that, that really meant fulfillment for them was environment. And that's what culture is about, people and place. Am I with the right people, with strong, healthy, positive relationships, ones that help me grow and I'm helping them grow? And am I in the right place? Am I in the right team? Am I in the right company? Am I in the right industry? Am I in the right part of the country, part of the world? And that all ties back to culture.